Hey everybody, this oh am I this is Yeah, this is not a spring. Camp. This is old camp. This is the opening of old camp. The old camp, yep. Yeah. Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick and we're going to announce Oh yes, are you excited for this? Okay. Cans is coming up in a few months and we are getting ready to launch the Cans Daily because you've been following us anyway. Like Cans Daily on the travel suite. Yes. Meanwhile we're gonna bring old camp on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, the President of the United States this morning told the Repub told the world that the CBO is in the hands of the Republican Party now, and that uh, their experts have all said that every that the health care thing is, is is lies. And then this morning they told the person at the head of the CBO himself that he was lying, and then they control the Republican Party, and that they would dis dis they would disagree with anything the CBO has to say any longer. Which means that, it, okay, the President of the United States has now been deemed, he's got every president, gets, they say something about him, but he's got the worst ever about a president. They have now deemed him a government of one. And one quarter of sharks and rays at risk of extinction. Yeah, that's, but the whole problem is, is whether those sharks and rays were going to be extinct under any circumstances, so. An Arizona lawmaker proposes $30 million U.S. Mexico border virtual fence. Well, they think the United States government is going to stop it like they do anything that tries to control the border. See, the government basically refused. Okay, here's how they know Obama can't be trusted. They already have a thing ordering the federal government to finish the border, border fencing. He stopped it as soon as he became president. And do you think that, that if they pass a thing saying in the immigration bill that he has to enforce it, that he will? I mean, it, the Democrats so disbelieve it that they've said, they, they said that they, uh, they'll put it into motion that everybody is froze the way they are for three years until, until they said this man, not the president, they said until this man is out of office. Mm. So that's not a good, that's a condemnation of the president. Unlike Nazis or the Hutas, his country's leaders got away with genocide. Uh, yeah, that's the, the the North China North Koreans, but they what, they know they've been killing people for years. I, I, I'm going to tell the President of the United States is Sean uh, Sean Kennedy and Bill O'Reilly. Dictators are bad people. They kill their own people. Uh, they're they're outraged this morning that the fact that the Syrian government is going to stand because the United States basically let it happen. They said these people need to be removed from power, and they refuse to step down, and the world is going to ostracize them. No, they're not, because they're, they, they we're going to do something. If you've ever seen a bad Arabian Nights movie, it always starts in Damascus, because Damascus is the gateway to the Middle East. they got these huge ports, and everybody comes to Damascus. And guess who controls the city of Damascus? The Syrian military. And Kiev is under fire. He is always under fire, but they fudged on their. I mean, they. No, Kiev. Huh? Kiev is under fire with the government takeover. Oh yeah, because um, oh that's that's yeah I know the government takeover. They, they said um, that's the Ukraine, uh, but you, what happened is you can see the gunfire going off and Obama, he's letting the Russians move in and take over a country again. The Ru okay. Okay, well, Kiev used to be part of Russia. Yeah, I know Ukrainian. I know. But they broke away, and then the Soviets engineered a takeover of the government. But the people ordered the government to be, become part of the European Union. Putin wants the Ukraine back because there's a reason why. Ukraine is the, um, is the seaport to the, uh, to the Red Sea, and the Red Sea lets their, lets their naval forces get into the Mediterranean. Ah, I yep. think there would be a good reason. Yep. And uh, Lauren Williams becomes the first athlete ever to medal in the summer in the Olympic Georgia Games. I know, and that's something. And they, and they, because it's all about bobsledding is uh, all about uh, speed and just hanging on and hoping you don't crash. And I've seen some really great crashes. The, the, if it's all about timing. Okay, the best of the American bobsledders is the one with Lolo Jones. But the problem is that the first day they came up last, and uh, they came there. Their first time trial was the last time trial done, and as the ice deteriorates in in uh, in Sofia, basically the times get worse. And basically after that, she became the first and ended up with the best time because she was already out of the meddling with that. Uh, that's what the Ru Russians are bitching up a storm. Well, 
you know, we've got bad placement and the Americans and their judges are responsible. It's no, they, they make the, they figured that this was going to be so great, we're going to give our athletes the prime time on the ice, the prime time in skiing, the prime time in everything. They didn't realize it was going to be in the 60s and 70s every day. And perplexed, India says the U.S. probably still is the most important ally. Uh, basically, the uh, Indian government is fed up with this president because he basically, there is a rule saying that, you know, I mean, certainly the Muslims don't pay any attention to the rule that, that, um, that diplomatic immunity, basically the worst you can do is throw a person out of the country. You don't arrest them, and Obama is arresting Indian diplomats to show, uh, basically he sucks, Pakistan is Muslim, and most of the India is not. Oh. And Issa rails against Obama's imperial presidency. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, they're trying to point out, well, George Bush did this and George Bush did that. George Bush only did things when it concerned national security. <coughs> he also did not. What? He also did not order the NSA to tap American phone calls like Obama has. So, um, the, the, I mean, the, Basically, it's a weird thing. You have the head of the Republicans and the head of the Democrats siding with Obama over, you've got to listen in on what everybody says, and everybody else in both parties saying, no, you don't. We're going to go after your butt for it. That will, I'm guessing NSA will probably be what will topple Obama from the presidency. And marijuana use for pregnancy affects babies' brain. Yeah, they didn't. Uh, I think that's why there's, um, I know, uh, um, that, uh, uh, Tommy Martin, you know, Cheech and, uh, Tom, uh, Cheech and Sean, basically, he basically, uh, they, they said a thing nationally that basically he can be used to help people that are autistic and other things. The problem comes is, is that a young brain is not capable of handling the drug as well as an adult is. So the problem is the side effects could sometimes be worse than the cure. Ooh. And after the UAW defeat, can the GOP fulfill promise of jobs? No, not as long as Obama's president. Obama, they, they, um, they just got into a huge battle with the CBO for the second week in a row about Obama's uh, plans are killing jobs. They're, okay, everything the Republicans said since he became president is coming true. And they're now saying that the information that the CBO got on health care and everything else was um, not accurate information. And so therefore, I mean, so they, well, we don't know how they got the information they were getting, but we were assured that it was accurate. The same as anybody here, the good one today, it seems like Karen Sebelius's people use Google Translator to translate the healthcare site into Spanish. And some of the words that were translated by Google Translator comes out to deport and uh, arrest. <laughs> yeah, and guess who's not signing up for the healthcare program in droves? They needed. They said that uh, it's infinitesimal the amount of Latinos that have signed up for health care. Well, now. I guess they're reading it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, can you believe that they didn't actually use a translator to? Uh, because they're, uh, even as Democrats, they want to know where the money all, now, where did where the, where money, did the go? money all go? You know? It's like, I can't believe you didn't use a translator. Remember, some for seven hundred million dollars. the people that they used are under what? indictment for, uh, in, in Canada and other countries for take, illegally taking money and not supplying what they were promising. And warning from Arctic Sea ice melting more dramatic than thought. Uh, no, it's worse. That if the, the stuff is basic, you have icebreakers frozen in spot because the ice is so. The, uh, they said the ice is packing so hard. They said that uh, most people have never seen ice in Lake Michigan freeze as bad as it is now. They've got the. It's taking hours for icebreakers, which they're huge, every beast to cut things in a lake. For Christ's sake. And Italy minister resigns, adding two headaches for the government. Yeah, well, because the country is broke. They, they bounced the guy. They, they jailed the former prime minister because he was fooling around with teenagers. And, uh, and he basically was a money man. The people they keep putting in charge are politicians, and they, can't, they don't have a clue on how to turn a government around and spending more money than they can afford. And Rand Paul versus Ted Cruz, who's winning Tea Party votes? It will be Rand Paul because Rand Paul is a more eloquent speaker than Cruz is a firebrand. Rand Paul is a he's a pediatrician. He's used to dealing with children, as they say. Ah, and a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain and the Animal Kingdom. That if you can't take your own advice, don't give it to others.